Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day. Uh, this is Christopher, the Senior Principal Architect over here at Pragmatic Works. And uh, over here at Pragmatic Works, we are considered to be experts in the Microsoft Data Platforms, both on-premises and in Azure. So we get asked a lot of questions like, how can a certain technology benefit my company, right? And one of the technologies we're getting asked more and more about is Azure Databricks, right? So it's been over a year uh, since it was released in the Azure portal, either through private preview or public preview or limited preview or whatever. And we're starting to see some massive adoptions by a lot of companies, right? But not everyone is really ready to delve into data science and deep analytics. So they haven't had uh, that much exposure to what Databricks is and what it's done just yet, right? And, uh, and data science and machine learning can be applied to solve like a lot of common business challenges, right? Yet there are some barriers preventing organizations from adopting them, right? So collaboration between data scientists, data engineers, and business analysts working with data, uh, structured and unstructured, um, from a whole multitude of sources are really two examples of some of those barriers. And then on top of that, there's a complexity involved when uh, you, you try to do things with these massive volumes of data, right? Uh, and then you add in some of the um, cultural aspects and, and multiple teams and using consultants and things like that, right? And so how do you get that, that one common theme and in, in, in that one common platform where everybody can work and everybody can be on the same page? And really Azure Databricks is one of the answers, right? So for today's uh, post, what I thought would be good is to kind of give a quick overview of three common use cases that we're starting to see and how they can benefit your organization, right? So the first one is a, a recommendation engine, right? As mobile apps and other advances in technology continue to change the way users choose and utilize information, uh, recommendation engines are becoming an integral part of applications and software products, okay? Think about any major retail website. Um, and, and most likely when you're at that website and you're shopping, they're going to uh, make some recommendations for products that you've selected or products that you're looking at. And they're going to show you related products. And I'm sure we've all seen this in various sites, right? Uh, another another use is uh, churn analysis, right? So uh, it's commonly known as customer attrition, you know, and basically it's, you know, when we lose customers. And um, there are ways to, to find out what uh, some of the warning signs are behind that. And really, when you think about it, if you've got ways to correlate the data uh, that leads to a customer leaving your, organ uh, your, your company, then you know that you've got a better opportunity to possibly save that customer. And we all know that saving a customer and giving them a service that they need or the product that they want over having to acquire new customers is significantly less expensive to the business, right? So the third uh, common scenario that we've seen is, is intrusion detection, right? And really, intrusion detection is needed to monitor networks or system activities for malicious activities or policy violations and, and produce electronic reports um, somewhere, right? So to some kind of dashboard or management station or, or wherever that gets captured, you know. Um, with a combination of streaming and batch technologies tightly integrated with Databricks and the Azure Data Platform, we're getting access to more real-time and static data correlations that are helping to make faster decisions and try to avoid some of these intrusions. So once we get triggered that there's a problem, we can shut it off very quickly or there are automation uh, options to do that as well. So anyway, just kind of wanted to highlight some high level things that, that might be of interest. And, uh, you know, if there are any questions about Databricks or Azure or the Azure data platform, uh, we're here to help, right? We're, we're, we're playing with this stuff all the time. We're talking to customers about it uh, and we're deploying in, in real world workload scenarios and, and we want to help out. So click the link below for more information and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Thanks.